movie is a director gone baby gone. That got lukewarm responses from critics. His second, The Town, pushed his credibility northward. And now comes Argo. And as Fox 6 film critic Gino Salamone found out, this puts an end to any wonder about whether Affleck is serious about this whole directing thing. I want to talk about the attention to detail on this because sometimes you see a period film and you look at it and it's like, okay, somebody's wearing a wig or somebody. Not in this movie. It seemed like every detail was right. Yeah, from both of my other movies, the thing, one of the things I like is making all those little details right background, the clothing, the bars, whatever it is. I had a great costume around this Jackie West, and she just was obsessive about the clothes. And we didn't try to make shaft. You know, it's going to be like bell bottoms and fur coats or whatever. And the whole thing is about the clothes, and everyone laughs at the 70s. We just wanted to make it real so that you could feel convinced that it was true, but then pay attention and be involved in this thriller, this comedy, this spy story, the action movie, you know, all those elements that make it so much fun to watch. I got an idea. They're a Canadian film crew for a science fiction movie. I fly into Tehran. We all fly out together as a film crew. I need you to help me make a fake movie. So you want to come to Hollywood and act like a big shot without actually doing anything? Yeah. It'll fit right in. You know, people complain when they have one job to do and how difficult that is, but in this movie, you're directing also and starring. Are you drained? I mean, is it, are you obsessed with thinking about it all the time? Uh, you get, uh, I definitely got obsessed when I was doing it. You know, I feel like, and I, and I developed this anxiety, and I, I, but I think it's good, some amount of anxiety, because it, it keeps you in that sort of fight or flight, you know, animal mode. You have to know your resume back to front. You really believe your little story is going to make a difference when there's a gun to our heads? I think my story is the only thing between you and a gun to your head. If you really care about something, you kind of want to be directing it because you want to be directing all the different choices um, that are happening because you have a very strong sense of what you think is good and what isn't. Did you want to make a movie separately with Alan Arkin and John Goodman together? I, I did want to take those two guys on the road, you know what I mean? I told them we try to make a deal like play Vegas. It doesn't matter. It's a fake movie. If I'm doing a fake movie, it's going to be a fake hit. But so real, you know, those they don't seem like actors, they seem like real people that we're watching. Which is great because they're really in the, the comedy part of the movie. I mean, they're funny. And if they were too funny or winking at the audience or mugging, you wouldn't take any of the rest of the stuff seriously. So they had to be, they had the hardest job, in effect, which was to get those laughs, but also be incredibly believable. I want to see this one. Argo is rated R. It's in theaters this weekend. Gino Salamone appears on Real Milwaukee every Thursday right after Fox 6 Wake Up. And today,